Tip number 164 from the book 501 Contractor Tips. Should you buy or lease an office? And remember, this is in the office and workplace chapter of the book. Uh, now this right here, and I even wrote it in the book here. I think it's the first thing here. This is something that is going to require a lot of thought. Don't just jump in on this. Don't let someone talk you into doing this. Um, if, you, if you're looking at the competition, they have an office, like I said in the last video, don't let this influence your decision because it might not be possible for you to lease or even purchase an office. If it is not feasible, if it's not within your budget, then don't do it. And I've said this before, people who are actually, um, let's say that you're young and you're planning on uh, moving out and you're going to rent something, you're probably not going to buy something. But either way, you're going to have a payment that you need to make. So let's just say that you're going to move out into a one-bedroom apartment and you're going to, your payment is going to be $800 a month. Well, if you don't have the ability to save $800 a month and you, and you haven't been doing it for at least the past three to six months, there's a good chance that you're not going to be able to make this payment. So it's the same thing with contracting. You know, if you uh, aren't paying anything at all for an office and at the end of every month you only have a couple hundred dollars in your account this is a pretty good sign that you're not going to be able to afford to uh, rent an office space let alone buy something so that wouldn't be a that, would, that wouldn't be a bad place to start there if you're on the thought process here you know do you need an office to be in business most of the time as a contractor you don't you don't need an office until you grow, until your business starts to grow. It outgrows your um, current office. You need to hire somebody, something like that. Um, now, something else about buying and leasing. I, I've noticed uh, a lot of times you can't buy a building. They don't want to sell it. They want to lease it to you. Um, they want Some of these people just they want land leases. They're not even going to provide you with a building. They'll provide you with the land. You're making payments on the land. You build your own building. This is what sometimes you're going to be looking at. And I'm starting to see this is this video was made in 2014. I would imagine in another 20 years, you're not going, it's, this video is going to be obsolete. You're not going to have the opportunity to buy anything. You're just going to be leasing the land or leasing the building or leasing the space. Well, that's just going to be another part of business. If everybody's doing it, that's what you're going to be stuck doing. So um, I really don't, uh, you know, when you're looking at the tax advantages here, there are advantages to leasing. There are advantages to owning. I would prefer to own something. I look at anything that I'm renting as just throwing my money away. Um, but again, if you're going to buy a building that's going to cost you a million dollars and you need 10% down, that's $100,000. Your payments are going to be what? Uh, you know, eight to nine thousand dollars a month. Uh, let's just say they're five thousand dollars a month. Can you afford that? You know, if not, you're going to have to come up with something else, or are you going to end up leasing something? But again, it goes back to the very first thing I said in the video you've got to give this a lot of thought. You know, take the information that I just shared with you and try to gather more information about buying and leasing. I mean, I know I didn't cover everything. I've never bought a building. I've never leased a building. So this isn't, this isn't something that I'm familiar with. All I, all I, I would be familiar with as far as this goes is um, figuring out or explaining to you how I figured out that I really couldn't afford to buy anything and I, I, and I couldn't afford to lease anything. All of the money that I spent on my office, which wasn't much, um, I never leased anything. All that money that I saved went into my pocket, went into my bank account. You know, so it goes back again. If you don't need it, don't get it. Don't, don't, you don't need it if you, to impress anybody. I know people who have businesses. They sell windows that people never come to the shop. There are never any windows delivered to the shop. Nobody ever comes to the shop but them. Hey, if that's what you're, if that's the kind of business you're doing, you don't need a, to rent anything. Why waste the money on something like that? So again, if you haven't figured it out by now, I'm a tight wad. I've, I've figured out ways to, 
save money and you need to also. You want to you put the money in someone else's pocket or you want to put the money in your pocket?